Hello, I'm Mike Franklin. I'm with Olympus Controls and I'm here today to show you how to connect a Parker Express HMI to a Allen Bradley Compact Logix PLC. Here we have a Compact Logix L23E PLC uh, with an Ethernet IP port that's powered from a 20 volt power supply and it's connected through an Ethernet switch to a Parker HMI. For this demonstration I've used the RS Logix 5000 to write a simple program that controls a motor starter circuit and I've created some timers and counters that will simulate some analog values that we can display on the HMI. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to create a project using Interact Express Manager and then we'll download it and show you how easy it is to make this run. So first you select new project you give it a name once the software opens you click design click on the design icon first thing you will do is go to your com tab on the left and create a communications channel by clicking on the icon at the top and giving it a brief name you will then choose the communication driver appropriate for your PLC in this case we're using the control Logix Ethernet driver and enabling the diagnostics you choose your IP address that your computer is using to communicate to the Ethernet and then you just accept all of the default settings. At that point a clicked add device icon will come up. You click on that and you choose your PLC and you again you give it a brief name to identify it and you choose the appropriate device model. In this case it's a Compact Logix and our choice is the Compact Logix 5300. At this point you have to give it the IP address of the processor which you can get from your PLC so I'm entering 192.168.100.10 and then comma 1 for the port ID and comma 0 for the slot the CPU presides in for Alan Bradley, that's the appropriate way to address these. Again, you just select the default settings and then you finish it. Once you've done this, you go to your PLC icon and you right click on it, go to the properties tab, go over and select the database creation tab and click auto create should take a few seconds if it is successful you'll see a plus sign come beside your PLC you can now close this tab and go up and right click and or right click on the PLC you'll see the tags come up you can look at the properties of them and it will tell you how many ta how many tags you have so that indicates that you successfully uploaded your tags. At this point you go to your designer tab, you come over and choose the tags tab, and you import your tags. If you've been successful you'll see a, a lot of tags come up, many more than you probably want. You look for the one that is the main program you select it you come down to the bottom select all tags and then you click OK now we're going to create a few screens and show you how easy it is to do so when you're in the designer mode you choose new panel the first panel you design will be the one that opens up when you start the runtime so we will just call this main Click OK. When you're in the development mode, one of the most important things you do is create a way to exit out of a runtime 
while you're only in develop mode. So the first thing you typically do is create an exit button. So you pull a button up, you choose exit button, and then you resize it to what size you want it. And you go to the appearance tab, go to the first lens, you edit the text, and you call it exit. And you click apply to all. This will allow you to get out of your runtime mode while you're testing your project. Once you have a button made, you can copy and paste to create identical buttons using the Control C and Control V functions that Windows supplies. Once you have a new button, you choose the type you want. In this case, we're going to choose a next button to let us get to the next panel. We're going to go to the Appearance tab, go to the Off Lens, and edit the text. We're going to call it Next. And we're going to apply to all lenses. And then once again, I'm going to paste another button and call that a back button to go to the previous screen. It is easy to make buttons the same size, align them however you want. To make them neater. Okay, once you have these buttons, I'm going to go back to project. I'm going to create a new panel. I'm going to call this uh, Motor 1 panel. You can name it whatever you like. I'm going to go now you can switch between panels you can copy your buttons again using the control C and then go to the next panel and control V now I'm going to demonstrate how to create a start stop for a motor control center I'm going to bring a button up here it's a momentary button now I'm going to choose a tag from the tag name database. You type in the first letter of your... Now that we've finished creating our program control buttons, I'm going to get into creating some buttons that use the tags in the PLC. First, I'm going to create a start stop button. So you choose momentary. You have to choose the switch input. Use the tag icon. Pick the tag out of the PLC that's associated with the start button. And click OK. The lens output is always the same as the switch input I'm going to edit the text to name it start and apply to all you can change your lens color here to suit you you can change the text color whatever choices you want to make you can do it right here once I've done that I'm going to copy this button and paste it and use it to create a stop button again you choose your tag and you choose the tag associated with the stop button again I'm going to go to appearance and edit the text to call it stop I'm going to apply that to all lenses and I'm going to change the lens color to the typical red that's a stop button. At this point they're pretty much ready to control the motor via the PLC. I'm going to put a state indicator below it where we can actually observe that happening. I'm going to 
choose the tag that's associated with the motor starter. I'm going to go into the appearance and go to the first lens state and edit the text and say this is motor off. I'm going to go to the next lens. I'm going to edit the text and say it's motor on. Okay, at this point, I'm going to test my program by going home. And you can actually test this title of the PLC from your laptop. I'm going to come and go to the connect icon. Click OK. If it's successful, you will now see it says disconnect, and I'm going to select run. Now I'm going to demonstrate how using the start and stop buttons actually controls the PLC. As you see here, the starter is now off, the stop button is not made, and the start button is not made. I will click on the start button. As you see now, the starter is started. We have the controls are working I can stop it and start it at will from the HMI that easily now I'm going to exit the runtime program and show you how to add some more advanced functions okay so you have to disconnect from the unit go back into the design mode select your screen now I'm going to add a bar graph and a speedometer to the screen it is very similar you have to choose your tag that's associated with it in this case I'm using a tag indicating a level from the PLC. You have to tell it what the min and max value are. In this case it is 2000. Click OK. I'm going to do the same thing with the speedometer. I'm going to choose a different tag which is an analog value that I've simulated and click okay the max value on that is 200 now I'm gonna go back to my home I'm going to connect back to the PLC and I'm going to go into run mode Now, as you see, you can now see changing analog values. That quickly and easily. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to load this project into the HMI. At the bottom of the screen, there is a small arrow, and to the right of the screen, there is another one. This is your offline projects. This is your machines. I'm gonna. This says it's unavailable. That's because I have not disconnected from it. You select your project in the left-hand box under Local Projects. You select the panel you're going to load it into in the right hand on the remote machines. Use the right arrow and it will tell you that the project needs to be closed. It will close the project you've been working on. It will bring up the project file you attempt to connect using the default starter use up. click on the panel and you click send. It is now transferring the files into the HMI. Once, once it says transfer complete you close. Now you can 
you're connected at the HMI you can click run and now the HMI is ready to control your processor so we have demonstrated here it's very simple to create a project and control a PLC in a matter of a few minutes using the Express HMI panels